Welcome to Mobile Center. In this video, we'll show you some of the new features in the 2.8 release. Now you can enhance your Mobile Center deployment by using an external PostgreSQL database. You can choose to install Mobile Center using the Postgres database included in the installation package or to manage and utilize existing resources by connecting to an external Postgres database. Manage resource consumption by allocating workspace quotas for concurrent device usage so that you can prevent workspaces from consuming each other's licensed resources or from using excessive license capacity. You can also allow a workspace to consume more at peak times by allowing access to the general bucket. We have enhanced our simulation options to include code scanning. Mobile Center enables you to easily test apps that use code scanning without needing access to the physical device. You specify the image to use instead of the actual scan of the device. When you perform simulation of a QR code or a barcode, Mobile Center replaces the code scanned by the camera with a selected file. We've also enhanced our authentication simulations to include Face ID for iOS. Extend user role management by restricting key operations for users, such as restarting and reconnecting devices, as well as uploading, installing, and deleting apps. You can now gain a complete overview of your mobile lab usage by downloading a report containing information about reservations, devices, and users. We've extended our automatic signing and distribution service to support setting up multiple Apple development certificates. Now, if needed, you can define a different development certificate for each workspace. We've improved our user experience with a new list view for displaying devices and apps and for performing actions on a selected item. You can easily switch between the list and card views to display information in a way that best suits you. For more exciting features in this release, check out the Mobile Center Online Help.